Hey guys, Eddie here from Cornhole Bag Reviews and welcome to Cornhole 101. For lesson two, we're gonna go through how to throw a flat bag. Let's get into it. With the new generation of Cornhole and all the bags having two materials, one on each side, throwing a flat bag is even more important than it's ever been. The reason being, for this bag in particular, the speeds are a five out of 10 on the slow side and an eight out of 10 on the fast side. So if I'm not throwing the bag flat, I have no control on what side of the bag it lands on. And thus I'll have less control over the reaction when it hits the board. So throwing a flat bag not only helps you stay more consistent, have the bags slide straighter up the board, but it also lets you have more speed control depending on what bags you pick. first step to throwing a flat bag is getting the right grip. The grip that I teach the most is the one that I still use today. I put my four fingers in the middle of the bottom of the bag to where it creates a nice little handle, half the bag drooping over the back of my fingers, half the bag into my palm. I then wrap my thumb over the top of the bag, giving myself a nice handle and grip to hold on. I think to me, this is the most natural feeling grip to start off with before trying some of the other ones. One tip about this grip, the closer to the edge that you hold the bag, the more spin the bag will come off your hand naturally. The more to the middle that you grip it or more beads that you grab, the less amount of spin that this shot will come off your hand. So something to think about when you're using this grip. Once we have a nice grip on the bag, we're ready to start throwing. Some of the tips that I show people are about good ways to get your wrist in position or getting used to the arm swing position that you will be in when you're throwing a flat bag. The first tip is to hold the bag to your side where you can see the top of the bag facing directly at you. That will cock your wrist in a way that will get it in the right position to throw. In the same vein, another way is to hold the bag out in front of you where you can see the front of the bag. That gets your wrist in a similar position and that's the position your wrist is gonna stay in through the backswing and forswing until we get to the release point. One last tip, if you're finding that your bag flight is flying front end down, that means you're not holding that wrist position through the finish of the throw and your wrist is breaking and going forward. So if you need to get it tilted back a little bit more, work on that wrist angle and release height. Now that we have our hand and wrist moving the right way, we get to the end of the swing where the release point. Now this is the point where you're putting the spin on the bag and getting the bag to fly off your hand flat. All you're gonna be doing is with your wrist cocked in that position, when you get to the top of the swing, your wrist is going to unopen and have your palm facing the sky. A term that we use to get the bag even flatter is think of your pinky going above your thumb. That really forces your hand flat out in front of you. When you throw it, it should look something like this with your hand going flat to the sky and the bag coming flat off your hand. Now that we have a good grip, a good wrist position, and the right finish, then you can put it all together to throw a flat bag. Now that we can throw the bag flat, we can decide what material makes contact with the board. That makes a big difference when you have sides as different speeded as these are. In the first example, we're gonna throw the slow side down and try to either lay a block or keep it on the board if we miss the hole. Because that material is a lot more slow and controllable, it didn't go off the back and punish us even though we missed the hole. Now with the fast side, you'd normally be using this for pushes or when the boards get really sticky. But if I accidentally used it in the wrong conditions, it can fly way too far and way too fast off the back. And in that case, even push my own bag off the back. So it makes a big difference being able to decide what material makes contact at what time, which is a big perk of throwing a flat bag. If you're using bags with two different materials or even your normal duck cloth bags, throwing the bag flat will help you be more consistent, have the bag slide straighter up the board and give you more options when you're throwing your shots. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you stopping by for another video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.